So to get started you can see I already picked a picture with a girl in a field of magenta flowers and you can pick whatever picture you want, I've just dragged mine in. You can also go to file and just click open and just find wherever you saved your picture. Now I'm going to duplicate the background um, and name this the blurred layer and I will be adding a blur filter onto this picture to create that soft dreamy effect. And I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can move the radius up or down uh, to make it more blurry or less blurry, of course. And I'm just going to set my radius to around 2.5 pixels. Click OK. And so now I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm going to get a 50 pixel eraser. And I'm going to make sure that it's a soft brush. And what I'm going to do is just erase over my focal, which is the girl in the field. And I'm just just going to work through by erasing her hair and her face. Now make sure you're working on the blurred layer because there is no point in you erasing on the background and that sometimes can happen if you are in a rush. So just erasing over her arms, her dress and even like bits in the background that you want to be comparably sharper with the rest of the picture. So this is just going to establish like the focal in the picture and it's just going to make the image better looking because you're drawn to the girl instead of all these little flowers that are surrounding her. And now what I'm going to do is duplicate the background again. I'm going to name this desaturated layer. And I'm going to be applying a desaturation filter to the picture and just go into image, adjustment, desaturate. And this is going to take all the color out of the picture. and we're going to reduce opacity to around 20 to 30 percent and you can see it just makes it look more dull so you can work with it to achieve that Emily Soto effect. So now I'm going to be adding some adjustment layers which is my favorite part of editing with Photoshop and to do this you just go to the layer, new adjustment layer and pick gradient map. Now I think gradient maps are fantastic if you want to just add some colors into your pictures or make some certain colors pop for my first colour I'm going for a shade of purple and for my second I'm going to choose a kind of magenta kind of pink colour and then the third shade I'm going to get a blue and you can see I'm just using shades that are quite similar to my finished result and the last is going to be a pink kind of red. Now I'll click OK and you can set this gradient map on lighten or screen because obviously you don't want to keep it like this unless you're going for that look. Now you can see both can work quite well depending on what your picture look, looks like. And I'm going to set it on eye lighten and move it to around 30%. Just play around with it. Now you can see it's already starting to look more dreamy and softer. Now you can add a few more adjustment layers just to make sure the color you want to really stand out stands out. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to get a photo filter and this is going to be red because I want my finished result to be more purpley and this is just going to intensify it. I'm going to lower density to around 10% and I'm going to add another one on top of that. And this photo filter is going to be magenta and I'm going to lower density to around 15%. Now you can see my picture looks very purple. Um, I don't want this to be too overwhelming so I'm going to get my eraser tool um, and get the size a bit bigger to around 100 pixels and now I'm just going to erase around the picture so the purple doesn't make my image look too huge and I'm going to erase just on bits of the background and over my focal which is the girl. So now you can see after I've done all my adjustment layers, um, I can start adding in some lighting, which Emily Soto is very good at with her photography and the way she edits her pictures. I'm going to add a new layer, I'm going to image, apply image, and this is going to just merge all your present layers together and give you your current image. Now go to filter, render, lighting effects, and make sure that you set the light type on spotlight. And this is a great tool if you want to create a source of lighting and you want to just play around with the little ellipse that comes on the preview. 
and I've just made mine to the left of the girl and um, going downwards and I'm going to lower the opacity to around 12% so you can see it's very subtle. So what my lighting effect has done is just made the sides of my pictures a bit darker in comparison to the area around the girl which is a bit lighter. What I'm going to do now is go to layer new adjustment layer and add a brightness slash contrast layer and I'm going to increase brightness to around 15% and lower my contrast to around 20 should be fine. And this is just going to help the lighting really, it's just going to make it a bit brighter and just not so contrasted. The next step I'm going to do is definitely optional, it's just to um, get that light leak effect that Emily Soto does. And I'm going to make a new layer, get my brush tool and set it to around 300, make sure it's a soft brush. And the first colour I'm going to get is a deep shade of purple. Um, you can use any shade of purple, um, I've just picked it randomly really. And I'm going to brush it on in circles, going upwards, left and right. And I'm going to get a second shade of purple just to spice things up a bit. And of course, a shade of blue. And I'm just going to be brushing these on. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to set this on linear dodge and reduce opacity um, to around 30 to 40 percent. Um, you don't want to do too many of these little light leaks, I guess you could call them, um, just to keep it nice and um, subtle. And now I'm going to do is just add a layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to add a curves layer. Um, now you can make your picture darker or lighter by by using this adjustment. You don't have to do this. This is definitely optional. You can just achieve the same effect pretty much with the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I just prefer the curves layer, uh, layer because it's easier to work with. And you can just play around the little line that comes with. And now I'm going to get my eraser tool and just, you know, erase over the bits that I don't want so light and misty. Now I'm going to make a new layer and um, this time I'm going to apply image again by going to image. Um, okay, and this time I'm going to get my burn and dodge tool just to fix up the lighting. And taking my dodge tool, I'm going to make the brush size around 100 pixels, keeping it soft of course, and I'm just brushing over where the sun would usually hit her face, just to make the picture more realistic and natural. There is dodge, there must be burn, so I'm going to get my burn tool as well, and I'm going to set it to around 400 pixels with a soft brush and brush around the edges. And it just makes it look better really. So I'm just going to keep brushing um, on the edge of the background and bottom of the picture. You can see that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to apply my image again and this time I'm going to be just going to image adjustment and I'm going to desaturate the image again just to finish up. And I'm going to desaturate it to around 18% opacity and of course erase over um, the girl so she's not devoid of all colour. And this is just really finishing touches um, depending on when you're, uh, what your picture looks like by now. Um, you don't have to do what I'm doing, I'm just a perfectionist. Now I'm going to go layer, image, apply image. And the last thing I'm going to do is give the picture a sharpen. Now just go to filter, sharpen, and sharpen. And that's just going to make the picture more HD and of course make the girl sharper than the rest of the picture. And I'm going to take an eraser and just erase the field of flowers that she's in because I only want her face and her dress to be sharper. And you can see we're pretty much done now. Feel free to add any other personal touches you want to after this step. It's entirely up to you. Just play around and have fun with it. So thank you for watching another Simply GFX tutorial. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So if we just go to black and white, this is also going to desaturate our image. 
and you can just change the settings to suit your picture a bit and I'm just going to move down, oh wow okay this is a great um, Emily Soto demon effect um, this is just going to impress all your friends and make sure they know that you're beautiful and will eat their firstborn child <laughs>